This is lesson 7.7, .7, Scale Drawings and Models. Your objectives are to interpret scale models and use scale factors to solve problems. A scale model or a scale drawing is an object or drawing with lengths proportional to the object it represents. The scale of a model or drawing is the ratio of the length of the model or drawing to the actual length of the object being modeled or drawn. So the scale factor is a length from the model divided by the length of the actual object. Use the map and a customary ruler to find the actual distance between each pair of cities. Measure to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. Number one, from Eastwich to Needham Beach. Well, if I measure that, the length of it is one and seven sixteenths inches. Now I need to find the actual distance. The scale of the map is 0.75 inches, which equals six miles. So that can be the first fraction in my proportion. 0.75 over six. 0.75 is inches on the map. Six is actual miles. So I have a map distance over actual distance. That equals map distance over actual distance again. It was one and seven sixteenths inches. As a decimal, one and seven sixteenths is 1.4375. That's the map distance over the actual distance x. The rest is just solve it like a proportion. Cross multiply and solve. And you get 11.5. Make sure you label it properly. That's miles. We're doing map distance over actual distance equals map distance over actual distance. Number two, from North Park to Menlo Fields. If I measure that distance on the map, it's two inches. Now let's set up the proportion and find the actual length. We'll do map distance over actual distance. The scale of the map, map distance 0.75 over actual distance 6. That equals map distance 2 over actual distance x. Map distance in inches over actual distance in miles. Cross multiply and solve. and you get 16 miles. Map distance in inches over actual distance in miles. Make sure the proportion is organized, cross multiply, and solve. Use scale factors. The scale factor of a drawing or scale model is the scale written as a unitless ratio in simplest form. Scale factors are always written so that the model length in the ratio comes first. Model length over actual length. Make sure that the units match. If the model is measured in inches, for example, and the actual piece is measured in feet, you're going to need to change and do your conversion factors to get the units to match before you do the actual scale factor. And remember that the scale factor equals the model length over the real length. Number one, the length of a model train is 18 inches. It is a scale model of a train that is 48 feet long. Find the scale factor. Well, the scale factor is the model length over the real length. The model length is 18 inches. The real length is 48 feet. Now, don't reduce that fraction because the units don't match. We need to make them match. I know that there are 12 inches in a foot. So, I'll multiply this by 1 foot over 12 inches. The reason I do that is so that I can cancel out the feet 
that gives me inches on top and inches on the bottom, which gives me the same unit. So when I multiply, 18 times 1 is 18, and that's inches. 48 times 12 inches is 576 inches, and that reduces to 1 over 32. If you have different units, make sure you use a conversion factor to cancel out one of the units, giving you only one unit to work with, so that it's the same for each part. Reduce it. Make sure that it's model length over the real length. An artist in Portland, Oregon makes bronze sculptures of dogs. The ratio of the height of a sculpture to the actual height of the dog is 2 to 3. If the height of the sculpture is 14 inches, find the height of the dog. Well, here I'll need to make a proportion. Organize the proportion using the scale factor. The scale factor is 2 to 3. That's model over actual length. So that will equal model, which is the sculpture, 14 inches, over the real dog, which we don't know. Model over real equals model over real. Cross multiply and solve. So x is 21 inches. Remember that a scale factor is the model length over the real length. Make sure that it's organized and since the sculpture was in inches, the real length will be in inches as well. Number three. The span of the Benjamin Franklin Suspension Bridge in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is 1,750 feet. A model of the bridge has a span of 42 inches. What is the ratio of the span of the model to the span of the actual Benjamin Franklin Bridge? In other words, what's the scale factor? The scale factor is the model length over the actual length. The model length is 42 inches. The actual length is 1,750 feet. Again, I have different units of measure, so I need to use the conversion factor to get them both in the same unit. Since there are 12 inches in a foot, I'll multiply this by 1 foot over 12 inches. I put the units in opposite places on the fraction so that they'll cancel out. I can cancel out the feet on the top 42 times 1, 42 inches, 1750 times 12, is 21,000 inches. Now I have inches over inches, so I can reduce this to get the scale factor. When you reduce that, you get 1 over 500. So the scale factor of the model to the actual bridge is 1 to 500. So when you're doing scale factors with maps or with models, do the map length over the real length, or do the model length over the real length. Make sure that your units match when you're finding the scale factor. Use your conversion factor if you need to. Make sure that your proportions are organized. Remember when you're solving a proportion, cross multiply, solve it out and always reduce your fraction in the end.